Hello friends. Uh, now I'm going to discuss about uh, digital supply chain, its uh, functionalities and integration of the various functions. As we know, with the digitization, uh, everybody is uh, looking out for a end-to-end -end integration, end-to-end -end visibility about the product movement, about the inventories and all. I'm just uh, trying to show you a brief uh, outline diagram to cover up what are the areas or what are the functions which needs to be covered up. When we talk about the digital supply chain, the planning is an important area and uh, this uh, plan requires a strategy. Now, the strategies are basically of the two types. It's, uh, one is on a customer side, uh, where you are looking at it uh, for the demand planning, uh, customer's expectation, the product, the pricing, uh, building up our customer relationships and all that. And on the other side, uh, this is uh, supported by suppliers planning. So the supplier, the contractors, and then uh, the materials, their pricing, their deliveries, their quality. This requires a collaboration from them. And that gets uh, integrated with uh, the manufacturing operation. And uh, if you have seen, uh, I have mentioned it about the e-operation. It means uh, the entire e-businesses are now coming up. It's not just one manufacturing location. You may have more than one manufacturing location in a city, in a state, in a country, or it may be a globally also. You may have your own manufacturing location. You may have a contract manufacturing location. So how this uh, demand planning and supply planning uh, gets integrated through your uh, manufacturing uh, with your sales and operation plan is an important thing. How you derive the orders and how you deliver them is an important thing. And how you get uh, supported by your procurement. The procurement may be direct procurement or it may be uh, through imports or it may be through uh, the traders or something like that and how that gets integrated is uh, really driving. So these are the various uh, functionalities and how they are going to get integrated. And finally, you have to see that you achieve excellence in all these activities. Excellence with the customers, excellence with the suppliers, excellence into your manufacturing, excellence into your quality, excellence into your uh, product quality, excellence of achieving uh, the best uh, benefits uh, from your manufacturing location, from your equipment and all. And uh, you have to define the KPIs and all that. You have to measure all this and you have to track the orders and the delivery. So this is how it's uh, becoming more and more challenges. Today, uh, it's a very rare thing to see all this uh, digital supply chain activities are integrated at one location. But yes, we must move in that direction as early as possible because that is where we are going to have a competitive advantage with the customer because you are offering the best product, best quality, best quantity at a best price, at a best uh, timing to the customer. And that, 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 that's the most important thing. So uh, digital supply chain is uh, becoming uh, more important and very challenging for everybody in all the businesses across the world. And we must really look at it. This is, I'm just trying to give you an overview about uh, the concepts or the functionalities which needs an integration and all that. I hope uh, you have some ideas. If you need more information, feel free to contact us and uh, subscribe the channel so that you know, 
you will get more and more inputs coming up from our future videos. Feel free to share with your network also. Thank you and bye.